Alright there folks, my name is Frayn and welcome to the M8 Greyhound. This is the new uh, event vehicle added recently. It only required five wins to uh, to earn it during the anniversary, so it's not really uh, a difficult one and it is certainly being used a lot right now. This is an armoured car, so it's pretty light on the armoured front, basically zero. In fact, I think the stat card says zero, despite there actually being a little bit of armour on it, uh, certainly not enough to be noticeable. But it also comes with rather poor mobility off-road, although reasonable on-road I would still say it's slower than the Stuarts. It does get a 50 cal at a very low BR, hello, got a PT here, there we go. Uh, so yeah, 50 cal at a, a very low BR, although not the lowest as that belongs to the M2A2, but in that case it's the only armament that vehicle has. For its main cannon it is a 37mm, which uh, is a reasonable gun, certainly better than the 2 pounder on the British vehicles, but it's not the best. Now, I did see something firing from down here, so... Following this other M8 and uh, see what I can find. Obviously, still got uh, car steering instead of tank steering, so it's another downside. I'm not a huge fan of armored cars, unfortunately. Um, on the other side of this wall. Well, oh, there he is. That's uh, Japanese. Don't quite know what. Uh, Chihi? Chiha? Uh, Chiha Kai, that would be, I mean, not the, the regular Chiha. It was Chiha Kai. And there's another one. Turret crew out. Now, 50 cals can be quite potent against some of these low tiers, especially the, the reserve tanks on the Japanese, for instance. And it can kill uh, even Panzer Force from the side. The but it obviously doesn't get a full AP belt like uh, any of the anti aircraft guns that mount 50 cals. So I wouldn't expect it to be our, your main source of damage there. We'll grab A. Hope no artillery comes raining down. Yeah. I wish this had the uh, the multi-wheel steering like the Puma so it could get a tighter turning circle. Unfortunately not. Uh, let's try and get out of here before artillery hits. Sounds like an AA is headed this way. Really not something I want to run into with its rate of fire and my lack of armour. Uh, oh, there he is. Uh, Tasse. There we go. Now I absolutely love the Stuarts. Uh, oh god, fight Panzer! But while this does get a 50 cal over the Stuart, I don't really know if that 50 cal is worth the complete loss of armor. The Stuarts will still get penned by most things that, uh, that this will, but they'd still seem much more survivable and they get much better mobility on top. Um, that's another Tarse. I can avoid my own artillery and... Okay, the flight is down, fine. Yeah. Oh, it's... Uh, it feels like driving the PTSD again. Just constant state of panic because everything can pen you. Anyway, I think this battle is just about over. I'm gonna try and get down across here before anything sees me. There goes one. So I'll throw artillery there. Oh, I've really lost a lot of speed there going in and out of that ditch and through this muddy terrain. Back on the grass ever so slightly. Just to keep the damn thing moving. Right. So we've got one on the bridge there. We've 
captured most of the strategic zones. <sighs> no. That lasted long, well done me. I popped it for one shot and now I'm missing most of my crew. Barracka bomber is in a Panzer II deck, so... I don't see him anywhere, but he was, the shot definitely came from that direction. Hopefully neither of these two guys have realised I'm coming up this way. No, they don't seem to. That's one. And I've got an ally here as well. So, I'll just get a quick decap and then drive off, I think. We're not doing very well on the number of players left. So I'm just going to try and run before the artillery drops. So many people are driving this vehicle right now that pretty much every enemy is driving something specifically to just, you know, utterly farm them because they're so light. You're getting a lot of Panzer IIs, a lot of anti-aircraft guns. And then, of course, artillery completely dominates it. Hello. Ah, he's clearly very low on crew already. And they're already back on B. It's that Panzer II again. Turn around. Turn around. Come on. Oh, this turning circle is horrible. So, I utterly hate trying to kill Panzer twos with solid shot. For whatever reason, it's just really annoying. Oh yeah, got him. I always find it difficult to try and get two crew in one shot. There's only three of us on the ground now. We have to get caps, but this is certainly not a vehicle that I want to take on the cap. Due to falling artillery. Please don't hit me. Can I turn enough to tuck in here without driving off the cap? Not that I suspect it will protect me from artillery. It has this habit of going through obstacles, but... Right, there we go, caps. I'd love to stay for crew, but can't afford to. Drive, drive, drive. Yeah, we are miles behind here. Drop artillery in case anyone tries to drive back. And I'm just going to run and hide. And the shot's going off. And something over here. Oh. Artillery kill, I'll take it. There. Chiha. Come on. I know this is still functioning better than the two pounder at the moment, but that is absolutely pathetic damage. Right. That is the same Chiha. Okay. The damage on these low-tier solid shots is... Well, it's bad. And they're back on B. I don't really want to go on over the bridge if I can avoid it. That's probably where they're looking. Attention to the map. I'll go this way. There's one. Ah, too late. And well, there goes any element of stealth and surprise. Thanks to the plane. Captain A as well. Leave me alone, plane. Oh. Wonderful. 
Well done, bravo. Alright, where is he? I'm getting hits with artillery, so he should still be around here. And there we go. Reloading. We've captured most of the strategic zones. On Come on. He knows I'm here now. Is that shot the team's damage? I should have got his engine. Drive it. He's still got the best turret to us. I should have shot his engine. But he's down anyway. Still alive, this other thing. And now he's down. Um. Come on. Our victory is near. There's one the. Another Panzer 35, 38, one of the two. Let's turn around. Which way is it going? Uh, oh, artillery. Right, move, 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 move. I do not want to be under artillery. Oof, I really do not like this thing. This has not been the most uh, exciting experience. Well, it's better than that Daimler, but it's... Ah... <sighs> Where is it? Which way is he going after me? Is he still in the spawn? The the uh, oh, T60. That'll shoot me apart in seconds. Okay. Where's this Panzer gone? Uh, that's not him. There he is behind it. Black Panzer. Okay, gone. So, other one looks like he's going around this building behind me. Um, T60 wreck. Damn it. Let's, uh, let's go this way. There he is. Please tell me you didn't see me. Most of the strategic zones are captured. I do love how much small the tanks are at this tier. It uh, allows you to hide in a lot, a lot more places. There we go. Last three. Three crew and one, that's unusual. Right. Something just gnawed at me there. I think he just died. Yeah. And there's something near A. So I'll go back for A. It's really hard to try and win tonight with the sheer amount of uh, greyhounds around. It's, it's just a pain because you can't really go near caps without being artillery to bits and nothing on the team's really got proper mobility outside of these uh, these flat concrete maps another zone captured we have the advantage All right, well, head into the center. Hmm. There's really not many maps that I think this is very well suited to. You ideally want to stay at range so you can, you know, avoid getting shredded. But you need to be close so that you can actually cause damage and make use of your 50 cal. Not that I've really made much use of the 50 cal myself so far. Panzer 38, 35. Too low. And he's down.
can see him through all the bushes, unfortunately, for a proper shot. Yeah, I really don't think this is a great vehicle. At the very least, I'm not going to be playing this again for a while. Not until the you know the absolute spam of them dies down. It's not good for the teams right now. Where are you? No, is he still immune, or am I just missing? No, no, he's dead. Okay. Just hide in here. Well, it's not been the most exciting game. Just generally trying to hide and stay alive. Really not enjoyed this little. Uh, well, it's not a tank, is it? This vehicle, I've just can't say I've had any fun with it. I think this should be their last player over here, so. Where is he and what is he? Uh, SU-51 uh, 50 should work pretty well on him, he's got no driver There we go yeah. There's a uh, Probably the best I'm gonna get. Oh, enemy spawn zone. At least I get a nice reverse gear. So yeah, I think it's fairly safe to say that I did not enjoy this little thing. It just dies so easily and with its limited mobility as well, I personally don't really feel it's worth 50 cal over just simply driving one of the stewards um, i mean they also die pretty easily but they at least have more armor than the uh, the greyhound and are generally slightly smaller but aside from that um you may have noticed obviously there's been a few less videos this week than past weeks partly this is because my workload is coming towards a close now so i'm Really just uh, dedicating as much time as I can to finishing that off and getting it all done. But also I've decided to take a bit of a break from War Thunder. I think it's good for everyone to take a break now and then. Uh, especially if it starts to frustrate you. And yeah, lately I've not been having as much fun with it. Um, I think it's just, just time for me to take a bit of a step back, play something else for a bit. I'll, I'll be back in you know a few weeks or so. But... There will still be the odd video in the meantime, however, I'm not going to be streaming it for a while, so maybe one video a week, maybe two, who knows. See what I end up with in footage. Uh, I'll still be logging in to do my war bonds each day, so I'll get something out of that, maybe. But that is the end for now, so as usual, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.